Hello guys, welcome to this series on how to build your blog application using Laravel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Laravel development environment on your laptop. After watching this video, you will have a running development environment as well as a configured code editor. So you will be able to use this environment to build any web application you want and follow this series. We will start by installing Composer, which is a PHP dependency manager. So let's go to Google and download it. As we can see, we can quickly install a composer using a few command line commands. So let's open up our terminal and copy and paste them. So let's just copy this block, open terminal and paste. So because I have already installed the composer on my laptop, I only get this short message. But if you're running this command for the first time, you should see some files downloading. So after the download finished, uh, let's move to the next step and install a code editor. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Visual Studio code. Uh, so let's download it. So let's go to Visual Studio code. And let's download it for the Mac. Now that we have our code editor installed, we still need to install a few more tools. Because we will be building a blog web application, we will need to create and run a web server and a database connection. For this reason, we will install Docker because it will allow us to easily set up a local web server as well as MySQL connection. So let's go to Google and download the Docker. So once the download finishes and you go through the installation process, you should be able to find Docker inside your applications folder. Let's open it up and see if everything is working. As you can see at the top, we can see the Docker logo. So let's go to the dashboard. So we can see that Docker is running. We can close this window and let it run in the background. Now that we have successfully installed Docker, we can go and download SQL Pro, which we will use to view and manage our database records. So let's go to SQL Pro and let's click download. We can now open it up. Great. Now that we successfully installed the SQL Pro, we actually have all the tools required to build a Laravel application. So let's close this window. You can close these two. So let's open up our terminal and create a new Laravel project. If you're not familiar with using a terminal, please don't be afraid. We will use only a few commands and you will see that it's not a big deal. We can run a command print working directory to see where we are at the moment. So as you can see, currently I'm at users slash Simon directory. I can list all the files in the directory using the ls command. So as you can see, it lists the desktop, applications, documents, and etc. I want to install Laravel application on my desktop. So let's navigate to the desktop using our terminal. And for this, we will use command cd. We can run pwd again to see our working directory. And now we can see that we are at desktop. So now that we are at our desktop, let's run a command to create a new Laravel project. So let's type composer create project. So as you can see, this command generated a brand new Laravel project on our desktop. Now we should be able to open up our project inside our code editor. So let's open up Visual Studio Code. And let's drag the folder inside the code editor. 
Now we should be able to see our project inside the sidebar. So there are still a few things we must do in order to run our Laravel application. So firstly, we need to create a Docker configuration file, which we'll use to set up our local environment. In order to run local server and MySQL connection, we'll need to create a Docker configuration file. So let's create a new file in the root directory and call it docker-compose.yaml. Now I will just paste the configuration code, which you can find in this video description down below. I won't go into the details of Docker configuration because I believe it's not quite important at the beginning stages of learning Laravel and I don't want to overwhelm you. However, if you are curious and would like to learn more about the Docker, I suggest you watching this video by Andrew, which will go more in depth about the Laravel and Docker setup. I will link this video in the description down below. So let's go back to the editor and create a new file inside the new directory called docker and jinx. Again, I will paste a code snippet that you can find in this video description down below. So now let's create a folder inside the root directory and call it docker. And inside it, create a new file, docker file. So let's paste the last code snippet that you can find in this video description down below. So now that we have created these configuration files, we can close them. Let's open up the built-in terminal and run a command to start the local dev environment. Running this command for the first time will start downloading all the files needed for the environment and it may take a few minutes, but next time you run this command, it will start the dev environment in a few seconds. And by dev environment, I mean that it will start the PHP, MySQL and Nginx Docker containers. So now that the download has finished, we can see that it created a MySQL, PHP and Nginx containers and we can list all the running containers using docker ps command. So we can stop the running containers using docker compo compose down command. And as we can see, they have been stopped. So now let's start the containers again. But this time you will see it starts much faster. So as you can see, it only took a few seconds. We can now go to our browser and open up the local host. Congrats, we can see the default Laravel screen, which means our application is running. Before we finish this video, let's install some of the Visual Studio Code extensions for PHP so it makes our development process faster and easier. So let's go back to our code editor. And as you can see, I have the special folders. That's because I have installed the VS Code icons extension. So let's add a few more extensions. So let's search for Laravel data snippets. Let's install it. Let's also install Laravel snippets. Let's install PHP extensions. Let's install PHP doc blocker and namespace resolver. What do we have? We should also install the PHP code sniffer. For now, let's just ignore this error. And let's add some configuration to our config.json file. So let's go to code, preferences, settings. Let's close our terminal window. And the Docker containers are running in the background so we can actually close the terminal. Search for JSON. Click on edit in settings JSON. And here I have predefined settings. Um, I will also link the settings in the video description down below. So that's it. We have successfully set up our dev environment. I hope you find this video helpful and see you on the next one.